A huge Hollywood talent is lending a helping hand to a movie about local boxing legend Vinny Paz. Oscar award-winning director Martin Scorsese has signed on as the executive producer of a biopic about the infamous Cranston native. Highway to Sue's reporter Todd Wallace joins us now live with all the new details from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Yeah, there are certainly a lot of words you can use to describe the very colorful Cranston native Vinny Pass. Colorful is one of those words, of course. And perhaps that's one of the reasons why one of the biggest directors in Hollywood has decided to help tell a story. Vinny Pass still has that fighter's cockiness. If I wasn't the animal that I am, I wouldn't have 50 professional wins. If I wasn't the guy that I am, I wouldn't have five world titles. So it's no surprise he believes fans and even casual followers will be motivated by a movie on his life. The movie will be one of the most inspirational stories in the history of movie making. Absolutely, in the history of boxing. In his words, he's pumped about the chance to tell his story and even more excited that Oscar-winning director Martin Scorsese has signed on as executive producer. Pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. We, you know, words can't describe it. The movie, scheduled for release in 2016, is tentatively called Bleed for This, the Vinny Pass story. Vinny says it will especially focus on his greatest opponent, the fight to return to the ring after breaking his neck in a car accident. I had four screws in my skull and, you know, a broken neck, and I came back to fight and win world titles. For all of his success, Vinny does not miss the ring, only the work to get back in it. I miss the discipline of it. That's it. I miss the discipline because now I can just I run wild and, you know, do whatever. That gave me a purpose. And not only is Martin Scorsese signed on to be the executive producer, but Vinny tells me that either Jack Nicholson, Al Pacino, or Robert De Niro could play his father. Not bad company. Live in Cranston with the Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.